How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Video. Today I want to show you this cool app called Balance. This is probably um, one of the best apps in my opinion. Uh, best and simplest apps for managing, like keeping track of your like bank account. And like, it's kind of like what you would use your checkbook for when you would write down all your transactions. Well, this is a cool app that calculates it for you. You can put like how much you have in the account and then every transaction you've done you just put where you did it how much you took out or how much you put in and so um, this is probably like one of the only apps I've used for like over a year like I've consistently used this app because it's so simple and it doesn't require a lot of thought so like I might leave Ralph's and I'll just punch the numbers it takes like 10 seconds and I'm updated and every two weeks when I get paid I always um, you know put my new budget and kind of like put what I'm working off of so um, let me go ahead and show it to you let me stop talking here there's a there's a free version there's a paid version there's balance and there's balance pro and once I get into showing you the app then it'll kind of make a little more sense what the free and paid gives you let's zoom out a smidget there we go so now we can see the screen nice and big so we're gonna go to balance and it's a code and no offense but can't show you my code all right so here is what the app looks like in fact if you have the uh the free version you won't see this all you would see is like this right here okay so that's all you would see um is this screen right here it basically will let you keep track of one account and if you have the paid version, sorry, I had a little brain fart there. If you have a paid version, you actually be able to add multiple accounts, and it will add them up the totals for you. So this is kind of cool because it um, allows you to really open it up and you know manage multiple accounts. The average person has more than one checking account. So um, you know, so let me show you one. In fact, I'm going to create an account so I can show you what it looks like. So I'm going to name this account uh, Wells Fargo. And you can put like uh, you know the currency type. So if you're in a different country, that's okay. You can put whatever currency type you use, and it'll uh, convert for you. Also, be a great app if you were in a foreign country and you were like need to keep track of your money. And obviously, the currency is different. This would kind of help you out. So uh, it'll ask you for the initial balance of the account. Let's say if it's five hundred dollars. Okay. And there's the account. So I'm gonna tap on Wells Fargo and so it shows your initial balance and then you just tap on the plus in the corner and then you can put in okay so went to Ralph's just type in Ralph's and then type in the amount I spent $49 on groceries hit save and see under type it says withdrawal because obviously money was taken out of the account if you were making a deposit you just tap that and then it'll switch to deposit and then it'll show a positive instead of a negative coming out and then we just hit save and there it is and so you can see the transaction um, it shows the date and then now it's updated your balance it shows you how much you actually have in the account now I just noticed something new here that I didn't see we have this thing called create new reoccurring transaction now, this is pretty cool because uh, you can set it so um, I don't know maybe every month this certain thing comes out on this day you can set the app so that that amount will just come out automatically so you don't have to keep putting it in I actually just discovered that I didn't know it did that so hey that's even better for you and me um, so that's a new thing being able to set up reoccurring um, you know withdrawals or deposits uh, if you go to settings uh, you can sort, you can change kind of how it sorts um, the amounts. Like, for example, you can sort it by transaction name, by the amount, by the date. So you can see what are your biggest transactions. You can go in ascending or descending order. Um, you can, you know, auto cap the names if you want. You can even go in and hide certain transactions. This is so crazy. I didn't even know the app did all this. I really just used the basic functions, but that's even better that, you know, that quick it does all this stuff. So, yayo. Um, you can do what's called export the account or you can basically back it up so if you were to switch computers I mean if you were to switch iPhones you can just back up you know your account information you can also export it to a spreadsheet as well so you can send it to your computer um, and here's the cool part right here to delete all transactions um, let's say like for instance myself every two weeks when I get paid I put like you know have an amount set aside for my like 
my um what do you call it, allowance or like my budget or whatever so i always delete all the transactions and i start fresh so that's just a cool way you know maybe you start over every two weeks like me or maybe you have running amount and you want to always see like in that case you can go all the way back months if you've been using the app for a long time so anyway that's a cool thing too if you want to erase the transaction you just swipe and hit delete and it's gone so that's pretty simple um and or you can erase that way but that takes longer so all in all that's the app another cool thing it, it does let you set security so you can put a password on there you can put a simple or an elaborate password and you have to uh, put in that code every time uh, you want to get in the app so this is balance or bounce pro uh, great great app um, been using it again for over a year and I will continue to use it because it's just an awesome app and it just works really simple that's one thing when you're keeping track of your budget you, you can't press a million buttons it's got to be something quick you know punch a couple of things and then be done with it so that's the app hope you like it if you um, if you're feeling the app Go ahead and like the video, subscribe to H2 Tech Videos, and keep watching for more uh, great apps, tutorials, and all of the above. Alright, have a good one.